of the day, another vlog. Kind of tired, like, as of last night, everything once more. But I basically sleep at half one every night these days because I'm out late like, vlogging or going to a match or doing anything really. As you saw yesterday, we were at the amusements and, and I'm editing for ages and I get to sleep for half one. Today, we are in Ballinat, Bally in tow, Ballinat tow, and then um, this little harbour area is where we are. Ta da! Yeah, so today we're apparently we're fishing again. Later on we're going to Tide's restaurant, so it'll be in one of GMTV's, hashtag GMTV's restaurant ratings. And um, we're also, I think we're going back to that town that uh, we went to all the slots into more slots, but no, I'm saving. As you can see, a lot of change in here, a lot of cash in there as well, like my wallet's so fat right now. Um, by the way, I'm actually not that rich, it's just, it's really fat with all those coins. Because I have big plans coming for this week, coming up. We have three matches Friday, Saturday, and the big one coming up during the week, which I can't wait to take you guys on. So, this is our scenic route, scenic, picturesque place for today. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, this might sound crazy. Yeah. I've been thinking a lot about you lately. Oh. I'm not trying to sound basic, no, no But I think you'd be proud of the man that you made me I don't want your forgiveness I just want you to know that you changed me and my reflection But every journey starts with acceptance Wish I could surprise you with flowers And say let's do it all again you down to your last parachute I won't let you fall again The best thing you did was saying goodbye Yeah, I fucked up, I was Okay Woohoo the belly of the beast It's actually just quite a small cave Not me trying to flash See if I can see my face for Going right, no, I can't even see my face right now The flash isn't really working At all But this cave I think it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna give that cave a thumbs up. This is our scenic view for our little pack lunch. Pretty sure there's ham sandwiches with butter. Oh, see, usually I have my uh, sandwiches with uh, butter and bread, not bread and butter. Today I'm having them with bread and butter, unfortunately. Um, let's dig in. I guess my better interest, I decided to go have a look at this Game of Thrones tour. I'd, I'd just like to let you know, I think there's six or seven seasons of Game of Thrones. I've not watched one single episode. I should also make another confession. I've never watched Narcos. I've never watched the one of the ones where you're mad, uh, your lad from Malcolm in the Middle, the dad, and he's like, you know, doing drugs. Breaking Bad, that's the one I'm thinking of. Never watched that. One of the major TV shows I've never watched that I showed friends. I've no interest in it whatsoever. How much mother could though? I don't know how much your mother. There's the Game of Thrones store over there. I'm gonna go join them, see what the crack is. Embark on following these guys on you know, the Game of Thrones tour, see what the crack is, see so if we can get some good footage. But these are all the grateful Game of Thrones fans, um, hardcore lads. Um, football's kind of my more game. As I said, never watched an episode of Game of Thrones in my life, but these guys seem to be pretty enthusiastic about it. Game of Thrones last, love it. Let's take a tour, they claim the land for themselves. Jesus, boom. Boom. Didn't know there was phones in the Game of Thrones times. Let's keep filming. Or cameras. The army is ready. Game of Thrones style. GMTV has moved on to another seaside town. Um, I'm getting tired of the seaside towns. Oh, scary. Balan slow or balan 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 balan. They're all made up to be honest. They all sound made up. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. They just do. And now we're in another seaside town. More sea, more town. The rest of the family are over there fishing. Ma, da, and co now. I'm just searching now now. I've ended my fishing career for a bit today. This town's actually quite nice for seaside towns. I hate seaside towns. I just never like them, never will live like them. So, as long as you visit them, it's just, it's not ideal. 
actually there was one in Italy that I went to so my TY to Simeone and that that is an exception of seaside towns that was amazing I suggest if you're ever in Italy go to Simeone beautiful place one of my favorite places in the world been there once this is the scenic view we have right now nice yes but it's no Simeone no Simeone indeed okay I've left the farm as I got bored of the fishing and I'm in the town I actually have no idea what this town is called but I am going to the ground for especially because there's mods there's another ice cream place there, there's another ice cream place there. Tons of ice cream places. One of them is bound to sell a slushie somewhere. I haven't found a slushie yet, unfortunately. But I did find out the name of the town is Bally Castle. If you've ever been in Bally Castle, give the video a like. So I'm, you know, putting the plug in there to tell you guys what to do. Genius I am, I know. Uh, yeah, so this place called Bally Castle. Still on the hunt for a slushie. It's not looking good. Even though this is like the most touristy towns I've ever been in. Really, a lot of bars, a lot of hotels, but no slushies. No, that's crazy. All right, dudes. Um, I just thought I'd, you know, have a little bit in the middle of the vlog where I talk. I'm currently, st I'm still on the rocks. Um, the camera's been, the phone has been held up by my coke bottle. Um, recently, I started watching a lot of Casey Neistat. I know, kind of, that's the old thing to do, and it's kind of slightly cliche, but um, I'm trying to get it pointers and tips on how to take this vlogging thing to the next level. I one that I watched last night was like tips of vlogging whatever. I'll leave a link in the description for that. And it was about how vlogging works, the story behind vlogging. As in, it, it was like equipment doesn't matter. It's great if you have nice equipment and all because it just looks better. But it was like story is king. Everything was like revolving around the story. Try to put this as simple way as possible. At Barcelona team, everything revolves around Messi. Messi is king. And therefore, everyone serves the king. And therefore, in the terms of vlogs, everything serves the story. Now they're on the track. Um, I want you guys to give me, help me out with the stories. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I'm, I'm giving you guys story going around town, telling them how you guys how much I hate seaside towns in search of slushies by the way which we still haven't found in a seaside town crazy I know right and just every day at things that I get up to because sometimes I feel like I'm doing vlogs just to do a vlog and to fill up a story and the stories just aren't great so from now on when I'm doing these um, daily vlogs I've also just took another pointer off Casey Neistat sometimes when he's not doing anything he just does little bits like this when um, he just talks to the camera and gives a few pointers. So that's maybe I'll go on along that line, but I also don't want to, you know, use this style. I want to use my own style. But from what I've learned, story is king, and that's what I need to base my vlogs around the story. Obviously, a vlog is me talking to a camera, but I also need to show you guys the wonders that surround me, like that beautiful view over there, beautiful views over there, the harbour. Wait, wait, wait. There we go, the harbour behind me. So all in all, what I've learned is everything revolves around the story. The story is king. So therefore, I need to up my story game, up my vlog game, because we've hit 811 subscribers. Once we get to 1,000, shit is going to get real. And I cannot bloody wait. Now, to get back into vlog mode. Continuing with the theme of story, when I was up on those rocks, I was actually terrified. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not afraid of heights or anything. But little lights? I don't know how you describe it, but I'm absolutely terrified. I was I, I shit myself. As in like if I'm up I've been up the highest level of the USA as you saw from the late Liverpool vlog and I wasn't scared shitless at all. But there I was just oh my god, I'm going to die. As you could see. But I, I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. I'm just scared of little heights. Like if I were to climb up on this bench 
I'd be pretty terrified for some reason. No idea why this would be. But I were at the top of that cliff over there, way in the background. I'd be grand. God, it's really weird. I know someone who's afraid of tiny little ledges like that and not afraid of regular big massive bikes. Okay, here we go, here we go. We shouldn't be running this hard. But look, from here, yeah, I'm not liking that one bit. Not at all. I'm afraid I'll like die. But then again, there's probably a view of my height or something like that. But Jesus Christ, I really hate little heights. It, it's just like the bane of my existence. I try to stay as far away from them as possible. It, it's the scariest thing ever. Keeping this trend going. Guys, what are you afraid of? Post it down below and let's discuss our fears together. Finally, we're here at the restaurant ties. What a lovely scenic view. There's a golf course here. Big man, is this the golf course that I are jumping? No, this is a pitch and putt course. All right. And uh, you can see Donegal in the background over here. Right, that's where, actually, that's where we're heading tomorrow to watch the Mighty Bohemians, of course, against Finn Harps. I've said we're going to lose, but sure, let's go anyway. Football is football. We're here at Tide Restaurant. Today, uh, we're actually, we actually, actually haven't been um, given a table yet. Tables are in there. We're chilling outside. We've moved from out there to in here. See? We're in here, so we're inside now. Can't get out. Okay. We're in Tide's restaurant in Port Rush. And as I built it up all day, it's time for another hashtag ZMTV restaurant review. As I said, today we are in Tide's Port Rush. I was here once before, pre vlogs, and now we're here, current vlogs. Let's see how the Tide's in Port Rush compares to the other restaurants we've been to. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Half a dab, that'll do. Bumpe, bumpe. Grande, bumpe. Yes. First course, this lovely scenic view. We have some barbecue ribs. Really good honey glazed. All right, sorry, here. Yep, honey glazed, barbecue ribs. About to dig in. And I have some of them. Um, mother's nachos. And, no, sorry, Connell's nachos. And some of my mother's prawns. Let's dig in. Ribs have been polished off. No meat left on the bone. Okay, tides, your ribs. Um, the starter portion was kind of small. Last time I was here, I got like a stack of ribs, and this time I only got three. But nonetheless, your sauce was really nice. The ribs were nice. Um, but because of the small portion, I'm gonna have to downgrade you. I'm gonna give you a 7.5 out of 10 for your ribs. Just two for today. Penne chicken pasta. I got this. Um, much bigger portion than my ribs, which is a great bonus. Time to dig in and see what penne pasta has to offer. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's a different plate. I did not finish my, lamp, my uh, penne pasta. Apparently, uh, this man, we've zoomed in on his face said it was a cream and chili sauce and I did not hear him and I've given up so big man Martin has taken the role of the pasta Martin what do you think of the pasta I can't really I'm not gonna judge it it's quite spicy but very tasty and out of ten I'll give it seven seven so Martin's given the pasta a seven out of ten so altogether my meal got a 14.5 out of 20 okay another daily vlog done we are home from the restaurant but to slurp in some luke safe brazilian mango mandarin flavor um restaurant was very disappointing to be honest um food was good but service wasn't great and we waited way too long for plates being taken away and being served drinks um guys if you liked the video give it a thumbs up share it on social media and as always, I'll see you tomorrow.